Hello yes. everyone. Welcome back to our YouTube channel Electro Study. This is lecture series for non-conventional energy sources dealing with photovoltaic cell or you can name it as solar cell. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. Come let's go into the video. So we all know about what is photovoltaic cell which is shortly called as PV cells. So here you can see an n-type and p-type silicon semiconductors and we'll be seeing how this photovoltaic cell is working. So here when the uh, sun is shining or when the light falls on this photovoltaic cell which is also called as the solar cell the light may be observed one one end it is observed or other end it is reflected so when it is observed it is passed right through this cell that is n type and p type so this pv cell it is composed of semiconductor material what is semiconductor material so the word semi is nothing but it can conduct some electricity which will be better than an insulator but it is not as good as the conductor like a metal so there are several different uh, kinds of semiconductor materials which is used in pv cells now here we are using silicon as a semiconductor material so when the semiconductor material is exposed to the light what happens it absorbs the light energy and it transfers all the negative charge particle that is electrons all the negative charge particles it will transfer all the negative charge particles where the extra energy allows the electrons to flow through the material that is here fusion of electrons and holes take place so this current when it is fusing with each other the current is extracted through some metal contacts so how we have solar cells above our uh, houses fixed and there is a small small point which is fusing each other from which the electricity is being generated so now the complete efficiency of the pv cell is the amount of electrical power that is consumed out of the cell like which which is compared to the energy from the light shining on it so it indicates that how effective the cell will convert the energy from one form to the other so the complete amount of electricity produced from this particular pv cell will depend upon many characteristic like intensity wavelength of the light that is falling on this anti reflecting coating material how it is being absorbed so all these contributes to the performance attributes of the cell so there is some important pro uh, property of this pv semiconductor is the band gap so when each of uh, each uh, holes and electrons are fusing together there is a large bandwidth gap that has been produced which will indicate that what length of the light the material can absorb or uh, it can convert it into an electrical energy say suppose if the semiconductor uh, semiconductors uh, bandwidth is band gap is matching with the wavelength of the light which is falling on this coating then the cell can efficiently uh, make uh, available of more lots of energy so this is how it works so based based on seeing like generally uh, we know that this is how it works so now here you can see the complete generation how the load is being connected what is p region what is n region all those you can see here so the photovoltaic cell as we have already discussed it is made up of silicon semiconductor material where you have n region and p region so these are interfaced uh, like n type and p type so in pn junction the semiconductor material the electrons from the n side so here is the electrons and the holes from the p side what happens is move towards on the either side that is electron move towards p and holes move towards n region so similarly uh, it happens rapidly where the charge distributed across the junction will give rise to an electric field so this is the electric field that is given uh, uh, rise in. 
so when this pn junction semiconductor material is exposed to the sunlight so now the sunlight falls on this material so when it is exposed some of the photons will have the tendency to dislodge all the free electrons from its fixed position from its fixed position so there are some ejected electrons also which tends to move towards the p side and this is known as the flow negative charged of elect uh, negatively charged electrons which is completely giving an electric current so this is how it works so here you have a connected with load co a combination of holes and electrons so how the sunlight falls upon the material and how it absorbs and converts it into the electric current next there are some application that you can see so uh, like it is uh, it is used for a long duration of period and the cost for operating all these is actually low when compared uh, with using some other battery system or any other power technologies and very little research money will be invested for this development of solar cells so once so once the investment is done for the solar cells and it is installed then uh, uh, there is a n number of advantages that you can have and these are used in several number of application like for navigation process uh, to uh, operate the calculators and watches or for irrigation or agricultural purposes so for all these purposes we use uh, this so, so, uh, photovoltaic cell or solar cell because only uh, if for irrigation purpose it is much required because uh, the each and every cro crops requires particular amount of water for that bore is required if suppose there is a power shutdown using this pv cells you can generate electricity and generate power and and you can use it for irrigation so hope you have understood about the complete process of uh, pv cells advantages and applications stay tuned for more information thank you